Hello, I'm Gary Sliman, the President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, how to achieve big by going small. Ever hear the term, big, hairy, audacious goals? Who'd it come from? Jim Collins, author of Built to Last, that's the book it came from. He also authored the book, Good to Great. Big, hairy, audacious goals. As leaders, we all have them. I want to achieve this. But many of us, we have goals that we choose and it's really hard, I'll tell you, I'm going to use personal experience, it's really hard to get there, and we procrastinate, and I procrastinate, because of the leap to get to where I want to be. It's hard to get started. So let's go small. Let's set the, let's set the big goal, but let's go small to get there in the path. What do I mean? What's a goal? Well, let me ask you this. What's something that's working for you fairly well right now? Put that in your head. How do you want to improve that piece? Choose how you want to improve it and set a goal for it. Big, hairy, audacious goal. I'm getting out, for me, I'm getting out a blog post a week, it's being published, and I'm happy with what I'm doing. I would like to be able to get two blog posts a week, one published, two complete, and that they come out more smoothly than they do. Smoothly meaning it's not a rush, there's no stress involved with it, that it happens, hey, two are done, Pretty methodically each week. That would be great. So what's what's your goal? So so I just built a vision. This is the vision that I have to a week coming out smoothly. What's the vision for your goal? Got it? Okay, place that over here. Now, where are you today? What's the status of where you are? For me, I told you. One a week, not so smooth, eh, actually a little rough, sometimes a little stressful. Got it? All right. That's what I just had. Now, what, for your goal, what can you do to just move it along a little bit better? Just a little bit better. Choose one little thing you can do. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to use a minimum of 15 minutes a day to work on my blog post. A minimum of 15 minutes. And that means researching, writing, outlining, doing something with my blog post to move it along each day. Because I'm not doing it each day right now. I think that's probably my problem. And that might help me get there. Is 15 minutes a day a lot? Not really. Will 15 minutes a day, a day maybe grow? Maybe. But it'll certainly help set me up into a rhythm. So my goal is 15 minutes a day to move me along a little bit. And I'm going to commit to it for 30 days, a 30 day commitment, doing five, and I'm gonna do five days at a time. So let's just take a look at, so that's six weeks, and let's see what that does for me. Now you do that for your goal. Vision, where you are today, the path, a little bit, 1% better each day. What's the task you're gonna have? If you take, what this does for me, I think it's going to, what I'm thinking it's going to do for me is going to take away the procrastination because 15 minutes is not hard for me to do. Sitting down and carving out an hour and a half to write a blog post, that's a little more challenging. 15 minutes, that looks pretty good. All right, do you have one for yourself? Now choose the time you're going to commit. Are you going to commit for five days, 10 days, 30 days? Make a commitment to yourself to put it in work and try it and see how you do. All right, going big, going big, achieving big by going small, by going there in small increments. Goal, vision, know you where are, know where you are, and now you just built built the path. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. I'm gonna come back to you in about 30 days and talk to you and say, okay, this is what I did. This is what worked for me. This is what didn't work. I'm going to tell you how I, did, how I did. You do the same for yourself. Keep yourself accountable. And you do little things. Little things turn into habits. And you're going to become a more effective leader. Thanks for listening. Look forward to the opportunity to work with you.